Lake Superior mirrors life's horizon. It's not always smooth sailing or smooth rowing. Good. All right, let's go. There we go. Before taking a big bite out of the big lake, Ooh, it's cold. Nick, Ron, and crew repair the rudder for an eye-catching vessel and adventure. We've got uh, our GPS navigation systems, AIS systems. The whole point is just overcoming adversity, you know, and teaching people that, you know, when times get rough, don't quit, just keep going. This is a, one of our training runs. A training run for four Air Force veterans from Ron's group, Warriors Next Adventure. We've been doing all of our training on Superior just because the size of the body of water and how big the waves are, it actually counts as ocean rowing training. You heard right, ocean rowing in the Talisker Whiskey Atlantic Challenge race. Why not? Why not indeed, when considering the horizon of some veterans' lives. So, what we're trying to do is make waves and show other veterans what we can do. So our thing is, you know, after service is over, it doesn't mean the adventure has to be over. But the guys know it can seem that way, and rough seas can follow. You get out and there's little structure, there's little camaraderie. And everybody is on the same mission. Once you're out, that's gone. After four deployments and memories from Afghanistan and Iraq, in 2015, Ron found Life's Bottom attempting suicide. I loaded well over 5,000 rounds of ammunition. That's the only misfire I've ever had. So it's very apparent that uh, it wasn't supposed to go off. All right, 11 seconds. He's been on a mission ever since. Good afternoon and welcome to Veterans Action Report on KGRA Digital Broadcasting. Ron's weekly radio show spreads the word about Warrior's next adventure. I struggled poorly, really poorly with my mental health when I left. Fighting PTSD and offering crisis intervention. Ron's personal phone, a hotline that hasn't lost a soul. When I take a suicide call, I essentially go right back to that day that I attempted suicide and I just talk to myself. Um, I tell them what I wish somebody would have told me. Ron uses adventure like mountain climbing to give veterans purpose, hope, and ultimately, life. And now, a transatlantic rowing adventure with his military brothers, Buffalo, New York's Chad Miller. It actually brought me back from a dark place, climbing a mountain and uh, helping Nick out and becoming a part of Warriors Next Adventure. Omaha's Tommy Hester. He's getting all of my tan lines in this shot. Yeah. And Webster, Wisconsin's Will Jansen. You do your business in the bucket and chuck her overboard. Starting in December, no comforts for 50 days or so during the 3,000 mile race. That's nearly nine times Lake Superior's length. We're trained to act under pressure and we're trained to push through and overcome adversity because that's what the military teaches you. Ready? Yep. Go. Carefully orchestrated switches will be part of the two hours on, two hours off rowing schedule with bow and stern cubby holes for bunks. Gets a little warm in there. And dehydrated food for fuel. We're gonna bring about, for easy math, 5,000 calories per person per day. Sounds daunting, like life's waves that well, veterans can encounter. If you knew you could save or inspire one person from committing suicide or being depressed, like what are you willing to do to save them? And this is what we're willing to do. If a guy that lives in Omaha can go row a boat across an ocean, everybody can go row their own personal ocean. The guys intend to set a record, but the east to west trek really chases hope's light, an inspirational horizon for veterans. I told myself the person who could have saved me didn't exist, so I was gonna create that person, and now I get to be that person for all my friends. On Lake Superior, Greg Vandegrift for the CARE 11 News Extra.